thanks to a good Samaritan. Yeah, the man was swept away in the current near John's Pass, but fortunately, a local parasailing company came to the rescue. Fox 13's Alcida Sigi joins us live from the boardwalk this morning to tell us the story. Um, first of all, how's the snorkeler doing? <clears throat> well, we understand he's in serious condition. That was that last check, but understanding the story, understanding everything behind it, I mean, this could have ended a lot worse. From what we understand, uh, this person wasn't breathing. Uh, 74 years old, by the way. Uh, we have Derek Kaplan, we got Chaz Kaplan, and we got Chris. I appreciate you guys joining us this morning. Yeah. You guys were out there. Well, let's let's backtrack here for a second. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, 74-year-old man tells his wife he's going swimming, snorkeling. He's going out to the Johns Pass Waterway, mm -hmm. which is obviously a busy area, but he uh, obviously he's... He wanted to be a part of it, to see it, see the uh, the water, and see all the fish around it. Uh, and at some point, he just couldn't stay afloat. Correct. That's when one of your employees spotted him, or a witness came up to you guys and said, "There's a guy out there in distress." At that point, you guys took action. Correct. Yes, sir. A uh, close colleague from Saltwater Destination, right on the other side of the bridge, they have the umbrellas. Spotted somebody that was non-responsive, face down in the water, uh, and called actually my office here. One of my employees went out on a jet ski, saw that he was non-responsive, that he would not be able to lift him up on the jet ski, so came directly in to me. Myself, Chaz, and Christopher actually went out on the parasol boat, just hopped on the boat as fast as we could, as fast as we could go out underneath the bridge, and met Brian back out there. He was holding on to the civilian that was non-responsive, and myself and Chris pulled him up on the parasol boat, sped back as fast as we could back to my slip right here and immediately started uh, taking turns doing CPR and you know just doing whatever we could I mean his color was a light purple we had no pulse at all we were constantly feeling a pulse while we were doing compressions until we finally did get a small pulse and um, shortly after that the EMTs did show up and took him away to the hospital and so hopefully we gave him a fighting chance I think he did I mean he was he's not in critical he's in serious condition which you know that's it that's an upgrade uh, Chaz I mean what are your thoughts when you when you see something like that obviously you guys didn't hesitate yeah uh, it was very serious uh, by the time we got there his head was underwater and uh, it looked like he was gone at that time but uh, we just you know we, we're all CPR first aid certified so we had jumped right on it and uh, pulled him up on the boat and started CPR right away Precious, he ended up at this point from what we uh, from what we know saving his life I mean hopefully he would have done the same for us I mean you see somebody in bad shape like that you know all he can do is react and uh, obviously time was in the essence there so got him on the boat and started CPR as fast as we could and uh, hopefully uh, everything works out for him yeah. Hey, Chris, I appreciate it, Chas. Thanks again. Thanks for what you guys did, man. That's Absolutely. wonderful. Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so, again, he's in serious condition. Um, listening to that story and knowing what we know, just the kind of backstory, of apparently this, this man was in the water for quite some time, unresponsive, gave him CPR, got a pulse, emergency crews arrived within a couple of minutes, and, again, in serious condition. Hopefully it uh, hopefully works out for him. Back to you. All right. Thank you. I'll see this. Well, the jury is set and right.